Hey, Cherish, good morning. Well, I-40 through downtown Nashville was closed last night starting at 8 p.m. to make way for all this construction work happening behind me. It's getting a little loud out here with all the, uh, the work happening. Take a look, though. So this is Joe Johnston Avenue, which runs underneath I-40. What TDOT is doing is undertaking this project called Fast Fix 8, which is uh, all about repairing eight bridges that were built in 1968 and run through downtown Nashville. I want to show you where the I-40 closures are taking place this weekend. So, take good morning, chair. So, this is where this is the corner market where that armed robbery took place last night. And you can see that it's now closed for the night. But around 9 p.m., a robber came here, went inside, grabbed a case of beer. Now, take a look at the video from now, to give you a sense of where we are. We're near the Home Depot off Bell Road near Interstate 20. Four. Metro Police Crime Scene investigators have been here a good portion of the day processing the scene and collecting evidence. Now, Metro Police tell us they had actually responded to a separate incident unrelated to this one earlier in the night. They also tell us that alcohol was involved in this incident. In a quick scan of the parking lot, there were several empty liquor bottles. In Antioch, Larry Flowers, News 2. Larry, what started all of that? Hey, Cherish, uh, just want to make one correction. It did not happen at the hookah lounge. It was just quite confusing in terms of which particular establishment that crowd came out of. Now, police are now telling us that they actually came out of a club called The Complex, which is over my shoulder, directly on the other side of that police car behind the Home Depot. Now, police actually have placed markers next to the actual shell casings that left. They're still here on the scene definitely trying to sort things out. Now, the victim uh, was with a cousin and a friend, and they were talking with two females. Now, the boyfriend of one of those females came over and asked, what are you doing talking to him? That's when an argument broke out. A few minutes later, a group of males approached, and one pulled out a gun and fired twice. Now, one of those bullets struck the victim, who was in his early 20s, in the chest. Now he Cherish, good morning. We know that one person has been shot. They were critically injured and taken to Vanderbilt University Medical Center. And let me tell you where this all happened. This happened in this parking garage right behind me. You can see the yellow crime scene tape blocking off the parking garage. Police are still on scene here interviewing witnesses of the shooting. And take a look at the video that we shot earlier. What we know is that there were two burglars inside the garage breaking into cars. They had broken into around three cars. When two citizens saw this happening and then tried to stop those car burglars, a fight ensued between these four men and one of those burglar suspects pulled out a gun and shot one of the citizens. The two suspects then fled the scene. Apparently, that citizen was shot seven or eight times, and he has, again, life-threatening injuries and is being treated right now at Vanderbilt. One of those suspects was able to get away on foot. The other suspect drove away in a car and got partway up the street, but another citizen actually blocked the suspect's car, so that suspect was then apprehended. So back out here live, again, it's just quite a story to think about all these citizens trying to stop these car burglars, and one has done so really at the risk of his own life. Uh, we're learning more information. It's obviously still a developing story. Police are still here. So as we learn more, I'll have that coming up in the next half hour. Cherish, back to you. Wow. And that's where Julie Edwards is this morning. Julie, you've been talking with police. How in the world did this happen? Well, Cherish, police tell us that three boys were playing with a gun in that whole hotel room when one accidentally shot the other. It's just a sad story. And so, as you said, that 10 year old is here at Vanderbilt Children's Hospital fighting for his life. He was shot in the chest and is in critical condition. Take a look at our video from the scene. We know those three boys had this real gun, which the 10 year old was shot with, but also a cap gun, a toy gun in that hotel room. And apparently right before the shooting, one of the boys tried to warn the others that they actually had a real gun with them, but to no avail that shooting did happen and the boys kind of panicked after the shooting took place. They ran outside the hotel. One actually threw the gun into the bushes, but police have recovered it, describing it as a small caliber weapon. Back out here live, no word yet on where adults might have been when this happened or how these kids got this gun. But again, that 10 year old is here in critical condition. As we learn more, we'll have that coming up later. Cherish, back to you. Yeah, yeah Cherish, this is all free. Lots of family 
friendly events here from 1 to 5 p.m. today. And this is because the mayor's office wants Nashvilleians, Middle Tennesseans, to come down here and check out all the new additions to Riverfront Park. Right now, I'm standing in an area they call the green, this big green grassy space. There will be fitness demonstrations happening here. And at Ascend Amphitheater, that will be open to the public. You can go inside there, check that out. You can even go backstage, see what that looks like. As we pan around over on the other side of this embankment is the Riverview Garden. That's run by Cheekwood, and they'll be having garden demonstrations there, as well as a tour of the tree trail, which has 43 different species of trees. As we continue to pan around, this short gray fence you see here is the downtown dog park, and Mayor Dean will be speaking there at 215. Again, he's trying to highlight all these new additions down here. You can see those dogs and their owners. They are having a good time in the sun. So parking, let's talk about that. You can park at Nissan Stadium for free and then walk across the John Siegenthaler pedestrian bridge to get here. Again, it's 1 to 5 p.m. today. Lots of free activities. Come check out the new Riverfront Park. Cherish, back to you. Me, I want to go check it out. My dogs have already called and told me they want to go check out the dog park, Julie. Now have you heard how she's doing, Julie? Cherish, we understand that she's doing okay. Police say she suffered non-critical injuries. You know, she was down at the riverfront with her family. They were visiting from Mississippi. They were here to watch the fireworks. Nine-year-old Ella Smith is her name. Take a look at our video from right after this happened. Apparently, she felt some discomfort in her back, and they realized...